I keep looking this away, it's because, look, crazy audience members. Woo! So we got Lori and JK with me today. If I can call you that, you know, it's really your mom's nickname for you. <laughs> I don't like other people calling Jacob by the nicknames I gave him. Okay. Anyway, so I want to talk to you about Savvy this morning because, is it still morning? Oh, we might just make the cut. And um, I'm going to talk to you about Savvy, and then JK is going to get a makeover. I've already had my D how pretty I am. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, um, so we're talking about Savvy Minerals by Young Living. Hey, Tink, we were just talking about the text you were sending us. We'll keep that on the DL. Anyway, <laughs> so Savvy is about embracing your own unique natural beauty because we know all of us are different. And this is help from products that we can feel about good about using. And Savvy Minerals is carefully crafted to help you feel fabulous about yourself and what you're putting on your skin. And those of you who have known me for a long time know that I avoid makeup. I won't say like the plague, but during the summer I normally won't put it on. But ever since I started using Savvy, I would say that I use it a lot more consistently. Because this was created to provide us access to pure mineral-based makeup, and it's also my first experience with mineral makeup, that lets us put our best, most confident, and conscientious face forward without ever having to compromise on a commitment to naturally derived products formulated without toxins. And if you are watching anything that's happening in the news, you know that there are a lot of things in our products that we really don't want. Do you see Aaron Rodgers post about mm -hmm. Cheerios? Jacob eats honey nut Cheerios. Anyway. You, however, are a smart, well-informed, confident, and clever woman. And because you're sensible, bold, and straightforward, these traits will influence all of your decisions, not just in business, but to your products. So since we rock every aspect of our life, we want the world to know it. And now that I'm going back to work next week, I want to put my best face forward. And all of us who have kids, like JK's age, we want them to go back looking savvy too. So since we're already making conscientious decisions about the foods that we eat, the ways we support our health, our supplements, and our cleaning and personal care products, we need to make sure that makeup is among those good decisions. So a lot of us are hesitant to switch up our makeup routine. I know when I started with Young Living, I was not throwing the baby out with the bathwater. So as I finished things that I knew weren't good for me anymore, I think the last thing that we finished using was the blue Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Um, slowly change things out. That was not true with makeup. I used Avon for a really long time. I don't have any issues with Avon. It was even less expensive than what I ordered or what I could get at like Target or Walmart. So part of the reason I was using Avon was because I'm a teacher. I'll say, I don't want to say I'm cheap. I want to <laughs> say, what's the word I need here, Lori? Um, um, I'm a good steward of my money. Frugal. Frugal is the word I want. So, um, I was hesitant to change because I've never really invested in makeup products and so I used cream to powder foundation forever and I don't really think I ever had a specific lipstick shade that I loved because I don't really want you to see my lips like don't look at me not that cute thank you tink is agreeing with frugal good word choice <laughs> um, or you might have an eyeshadow that you've always favored. So it can be hard to change up our routine. But like I said, switch things out over time. Find something you like. Roll with it. And Young Living keeps coming out with more and more shades that will suit every complexion. But because our skin is our lar largest organ, it protects our body. But it's not a thick coat of armor. We are not armadillos. But this is like a giant sponge. And it absorbs much of what we apply to it. So a few of the most common toxins found in makeup, sorry, there's a teenage girl crawling behind me. Ignore that. Um, we have parabens, phthalates, lead, talc, formaldehyde. Can we talk about formaldehyde? Isn't that the horrible smell when we dissected animals in high school? Biology is at the class, yeah. PEG compounds, butylated compounds. Pen phenacetin? I don't even know how I have it. Yeah, I think that's one. right. Thanks. Nanoparticles and benzene. So those are the most common toxins found in commercial makeup. If it says toxin, I don't want it on my skin. Mineral oil is another one. It's made from petroleum, clogs your pores, can cause breakouts, which even in my 40s I still get. Premature aging, which I don't think I have, but you can tell me otherwise. Negative hormone and immune effects, and we definitely want to support, not compromise our immune systems. 
and mineral oil is commonly found in cold creams, baby lotion, and cosmetics. Talc is a skin irritant. It may contain asbestos. Mm. I lived in a house that was built in 1915, and we were afraid to take up the tiles in the floor because mm. it could have had asbestos. But talc is commonly found in eyeshadow, blush, foundation, and face and baby powder. So pretty much anything that's powder-based, right? Mm -hmm. Bismuth is a skin irritant. Why would you put something that's a skin irritant on your skin? It's a synthetic filler found in eyeshadows, blush, bronzers, and nail polish. Mm -hmm. I changed nail polishes. I hope mine doesn't have bismuth, but now I'm going to have to double check. Phthalates are endocrine and hormone disruptors. They um, are a developmental and reproductive toxin, and they're used in colored cosmetic skin care, lip balm, and fragrances. So we don't want to mess up our hormones because they're already wonky enough as it is. Can I get an amen? Mm -hmm. So parabens, also endocrine disruptors, also linked to developmental and reproductive issues. And parabens are commonly used in personal care and products like lotion, cleansers, and makeup. So even when we're trying to cleanse our skin, we're still putting toxins on them, if you can believe that. So an endocrine disrupting chemical is a compound that's either natural or synthetic which through environmental or inappropriate developmental exposures alters the hormonal and homeostatic systems that enable the organism to communicate and respond to the environment. So basically our endocrine glands are responsible for the hormonal functions in our body and the major endocrine glands include the pituitary, pineal, thyroid, adrenals, pancreas, and reproductive glands. Y'all, that's six major functions in our bodies. So they can impact every area of our health and are linked to a host of known health issues, including those reproductive and developmental problems we already mentioned, thyroid impairment, and you know thyroid affects a lot of issues in the body, certain reproductive cancers, and neurodevelopmental problems such as decreased IQ. I don't know about you, but I can't give up any of my brain cells. Just putting that out there. So studies suggest that those links can now be extended to heart and weight problems, which I also don't want, as well as diabetes. So this is a big deal. So we've talked in other videos about bioaccumulation, which is the accumulated total of chemical toxins in the human body and our continuous exposure overloading our natural detoxification systems, which leads to a buildup in our body. So you're thinking, makeup, small amount, no big deal. Well. It may not be problematic, theoretically, but you may have used the same products for years without any issue, but when that builds up, our bodies can break down many of the toxins we're exposed to, but not all of them. So often when we have problems with our skin, it's indicative of larger problems. And like I try to pay attention to where I break out because you can trace that back to an organ or a system that isn't functioning correctly. So, time for something better. You shouldn't have to compromise your health for beauty. And with Savvy Minerals, you have an unwavering standard of purity and quality, which brings you a line of cosmetics that makes your wellness a priority. So it's not just that you aren't adding toxins to your body, you're actually using things that are going to benefit your skin. So we can get confidence without compromise using Young Living's pure, high-quality, mineral-based cosmetics. Um, no cheap fillers are used in Young Living products, no additives. So you have a rich color payout, and I know you can see all of the pigmentation on my eyes, and a smooth, luxurious application with only naturally derived ingredients. So you can feel about great about every aspect of the product. So mineral makeup, because I didn't wear it before, has minerals that are micronized, ground, and milled into super fine particles to create this makeup. So you have iron oxides, zinc oxides, thank you, Tink, you're very sweet. Lori did my makeup. <laughs> uh, titanium dioxide, but what you won't find are synthetic fragrances, fillers, artificial preservatives, or dyes. So everything is natural. So there are many shades of lipsticks, glosses, blushes, and eyeshadows, and Young Living keeps adding to these collections to uh, compromise for every skin tone, whatever it is that you're interested in. So we talked about the things that are already not in this mineral-based makeup. It is non-commodogenic. It is essential oil infused, so you can feel good about what you put on your skin. 
So we already talked about the things that it is formulated without. The other thing you might want to consider if you are vegan, um, if you are, what is the thing that my friend can't have? Um, gluten free. I have a friend who's interested in Savvy because she can't have gluten. So Savvy is cruelty free. It is not tested on animals. It is formulated with non nanoparticles made with mineral based ingredients, long lasting for all day wear. Like I still have my face at the end of the day. And, um, I think it's just a Savvy Minerals lipstick that contains beeswax, but outside of that, it is vegan. There are no gluten-based products. So there are a lot of things that if you have issues with other lines of cosmetics, you won't have those with Young Living. So what's in our makeup are kale and clay, which soothes the skin and reduces oil, so you don't get all, I say shiny, shiny by the end of the day. Mica which is that reflective mineral found in crystals, so you get that shimmer if that's what you're looking for. Aspen bark extract, which is a natural preservative that helps soften the skin. Sweet almond oil, which serves as a water and oil emollient. And jojoba oil. Lori always gives me a hard time, like jojoba. She's like, it's jojoba, okay. <laughs> but it sounds like, like I'm looking down my nose, jojoba oil. Um, that is a skin protectant, which will both soothe and moisturize. Beeswax, as I mentioned before, helps moisturize the lips. It's not in all the lip products, but it is in some of them. Vitamin E, which we know is nourishing and helps promote healthy skin. Aloe, also nourishing and moisturizing and makes us look young. Uh, sunflower oil and pure essential oils. So we already talked about what's in them. And let's see, what else can I talk? Um, I'm going to let Lori talk about <laughs> the applying part because I was, you know, the guinea pig earlier because, because this. So much prettier when she does it. So we're going to switch up and let her apply to her daughter and I'm going to get out Mommy. of the way. <laughs> okay. All right. So first of all, let's just say that makeup is supposed to be fun. It is not supposed to be something that causes you stress. So always, always, always play with it. It's okay. If you do something one day and you don't like the way that turns out, just don't do that again. Do something else. So just have fun. Okay? I'm not tall enough. <clears throat> no, you're not. But that's okay because we're going to talk knees. a little bit first about skin care. All right. The best thing to do to make sure stripe, it is striped shirt day. You're right. Um, is to make sure your skin is healthy. So drink lots and lots of water. I'm not so great at that, but that's the first thing. You're supposed to drink lots of water. And then second, you need to make sure that you are doing a good skincare routine. So Young Living does have a complete skincare line. They have the art system and they also have the orange blossom line that you have a face wash, a toner, or moisturizer. Um, and that's really what you need to do. They do have a renewal serum for those that need a little like wrinkle issues you know what I mean okay so um <laughs> so anyway but that's normally what you do so you make sure your skin is nice and clean you moisturize it very well and then you get into the makeup okay so first let's talk about the fact that Savvy Minerals does have a little actually not it does have a complete line of um of foundations so you need to figure out how to pick your foundation, all right? So they're all they're all going to be mineral foundations, of course, and so they're a powder. Um, so honestly, you're not going to get like that full coverage unless you do some things to it, like I'm going to show you. So, um, but you need to know if you're warm, cool, or neutral, all right? So if you look at your arm and you look at your veins. If your veins, if you can tell they look green, okay, then you're probably a warm. If they look blue, then you're going to be a cool. And if you can't really tell if they're blue or green, because see, I have green and then I also have blue in there. I have green and then I'm blue. Um, then you are probably neutral, which means you can go either way, depending on what you want to do. Um, <clears throat> I normally tend toward the warm side because the um, the cool side will wash me out if I 
do too much. Okay. So another way to figure that out is what are your what are your undertones? So if you have a yellow, a peach, or a golden undertone, then you're probably going to be warm. And if you have like a ruddy or a pink undertone, then you're going to be cool. Okay. Um, and both, you're probably neutral. And then the last is, how do you tan? So if you go out in the sun and you tan really easily, then you're probably going to be warm. If you burn and never tan, then you're going to be cool. And if you do like me and you burn first and then you turn into a tan later, which I don't even try anymore. Anyway, <laughs> then you are probably neutral. Okay, so that's just a little, and we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll share that little graphic with y'all later to make sure you remember that. Okay. All right, so we're going to start. Judith's got a nice clean face, okay, um, with some primer, okay. We now have two different kinds of primers, all right. Yeah. We have a mattifying primer that's really good for those that have oily skin. You can put that on, and it kind of um, takes the oil away. And then we have a hydrating primer that's good for those that have dry skin. And if you have, like, combo skin, you can use whichever one you feel like you need. Um, I use the hydrating primer. You okay over there? Yeah, I was talking to her. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, and so that's what we're going to use today. We're going to use the hydrating. Julie K probably needs the mattifying sometimes. That's why whenever you said hydrating, I'm like, yeah. So she usually, she has a little bit of oily skin, but. What are you doing? Yeah. Lipstick, Lipstick on, on my teeth. teeth. Oh, thank you for helping me out with that. It's still not gone yet. I'll work on it. Okay. So just a nice thin layer. It was very little bit. You don't want... Young Living is so pure. You don't need a whole lot of everything. Okay. The net... When you're doing the foundation, you have a couple of ways that you can handle this. Okay. So, let me find my foundation. So here it is. Alright. So it comes in this little nice little thing. It has like loose powder. And I have a lid. I use this lid all the time. It's part of the packaging on a purpose, okay? So, you have three ways to do this. You can apply it without the misting spray, which is going to be like nothing. Um, I use I use it like that for um, after I have put on my full face and I need to do a little cover up, I'll use it without the misting spray. Or if I'm just running out the door and I just want to kind of clean up the shine, then I'll, I'll do that. But normally I'm a full face kind of girl. You want my last moisturizer? Yeah. I see you looking. Um, and so... Where is it? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So, this is another way, great way to do it. Um, this is the Art Moisturizer. You can use the Art Blossom Moisturizer. You can use whatever moisturizer you use. Just put one little pump in your hand, add the powder to that, and then that'll create a cream, and it'll be um, a little bit smoother finish, um, but not as full coverage as what I do. Um, what I do is I actually take the lid... And I grab my misting spray and I spray in the lid. Okay. Normally I do two sprays. Let's be honest. I put a lot of makeup on. Okay. All right. And then you take the powder and you mix it in with the mixing misting. Spray. And the reason why I like this better for coverage is because when you're using the moisturizer, it does kind of thin the color out. But this just really and truly makes that powder a cream. Okay. All right. I do little circular motions. Some people use a beauty blender. Some people use these brushes. This is the Young Living foundation brush, and it's really actually pretty awesome for buffing it in the skin. And yes, I go back and add more. I'm, I'll probably buy foundation about every two months, three months, something like that. Just for you or you and Julie Kate? Just for me. Okay. <laughs> Julie K. I'm on my second one and it took me a year to go through it. Yeah, no. But I'm This is wear it my second day. one and I'm. And I just started it in like February. You can close that back, JK. Yeah. And I'll help with that later. What? No. Oh. Did you make a wish? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now she does have some um, teenage issues with her skin, so we'll take care of those in a minute. But. I love that. But this creates a much more coverage My neck. than just doing the, like, misting the spray on your hand and then 
You mean like I do. <laughs> I'm a full coverage kind of gal. I'm sorry. I just ain't. Alright. So, once I've got that on, then I'll go into the blush. Alright? They have several different colors of blush. Sometimes you can just pinch your cheeks. Doesn't blood. last very long. <laughs> blood comes well, if you do it every few minutes. My blood comes I don't want to pinch myself all day. Mm. Alright. Mm. If it's cheap. Now this, I do not use the misting spray because it is quite shimmery. And if you use misting spray, it will almost look like you are yeah. Yeah. glitter on your face. So. Smile, a one smile pretty. Um, All right, a little, nice little round in the cheek where the apple is. And then a sweep up just to pull that up. And are any of the new ones more matte than the original? I think some of them are. Okay. Um, this one is not. This one has lots of... Which one is that? Smashing? This or? is smashing. <clears throat> I haven't gotten any more. This is the only one I use right now. Okay. Alright, then you have the bronzer. Now, I'm going to say this. If you are darker complected, so these bronzers are lighter than, um, than some. So, you can actually use the foundations as your bronzer. Or you can use the eyeshadows as your bronzer. So, you can have, um, like if you are a, like a dark one or two, you could probably use a three or a four and be, use that as your highlighter. Okay? But right now, we're going to use the Summer Loved. Summer Loving, having a blast. There's yes. the dark one Summer and dark loving. four. Oh, there's dark one and dark four. So, see, dark one would probably be <laughs> a nice tan. <laughs> if you've got a nice tan, okay? And then here's dark four, which is very, very dark. So, this one, I would love that as an eyeshadow. But, um, hmm. but yeah. So, you can use these for other things than just what they're packaged for. I'm going to get myself in the mirror. Alright, so now we're going to do a little bit of bronzer. Bronzer is supposed to make you look like you are tan. So, so put it up here at the top because that's where you, your forehead gets nice and tan. Oh, and then you can hair. use it also as a contour, like right here in your underneath where you put your blush, that hollow. You see that line? You just go ahead and you put it there. And that will create a nice slim contour there you go thank you very much and also if you have the issue like i have where my chin kind of fades into my neck um you go ahead and you put it right here on your jawline okay I don't really it helps define no she doesn't but, huh it helps define it helps define it make it like gives the illusion of a shadow is what it does all right so that's her whole face and so what i normally do now I'll take the big brush, the big fluffy brush, and highlighter, not right now, alright, and I will warm the face out. Okay, now we do have two veils, we have a, a mineral, like a, a veil and then a, a matte translucent well, powder, that that's, that's my warm, that's your, that's my, that's the diamond dust, right, the diamond dust, and this is a matte one, okay. Um, matte is just a translucent powder. It's not a color, and so you don't have to worry about that. You can just put it on top of anything. It's really good to bake with, which baking is a whole other story. Don't worry about it. Like, you bake. I said you have liquid makeup on. Yeah. Um, but this is a really good highlighter, so we'll use that in a minute. So just like this. But now we're going to go to Looks the eyebrows. Looks like you put flour all over your face and let it sit there. Oh. You let it sit there you because you leave her shower door because the warmth you. of your skin makes the powder. So could I use that trans the, the matte one? Like could I put that one in my purse to like mm -hmm. in the afternoons if I get shown? Yes. Yeah. I think I'll do that. See, I need to borrow your. I left my other. You're free. Mm. Right. So now we're gonna go to brows. They have four different multitaskers now, and I actually have all four of them. Hold on because you need to. We tried them out. Like, that was my own guinea pig. Thank you. I did that. Alright. So, dark is a very nice chocolate brown. Okay. Medium. Looks a little bit more like cocoa powder. So, it had a little red tint to it. Tan is a little bit darker than medium, but still has that kind of a 
Oh. <laughs> we'll wipe that off in a second. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's the only problem with powder. And then we have white, which is what I used on my brow today because I had a little brown. It's fine. Which is a little bit. It's more of a light brown than it is. I don't have any red in it, so that's what I use. But Julie K has nice dark eyebrows, so we're going to use dark. Are you ready? Never. I can never be ready. Mm -hmm. Go up first, because you, when you look at your natural brow, the front of your brow goes kind of squirrely looking. It goes oh, up a bit that's what you were doing. So go up first. Feels like you're taking And then eyebrows. follow your your brow over and around. Okay, you're just like filling in. Oh, this place. What? Talking, I said. I ate a lot of talkies. Yes, you did. My and stomach kind of hurt. hurts. Oh, I'm sure. Because you were eating nasty stuff. There's some dye dyes right there. <laughs> I'm just going to power through. I'm a trooper. Super you moved, like, trooper. Right when I put that that's right going to find you. I know. I we have been dying to see Mama Mia. I thought we were going to go today. Yeah, that, but you got new tennis shoes instead. Okay. Alright, so a little bit better. You go up. Oh, and you're just making little short strokes because you want it to look like hair. While you are filling it in with a powder, you don't want it to look like you have a line. I'm looking at my eyebrows. I'm sure you're I not going to be happy with them. I usually spoolie them out. Well, I normally do that last. Do you even have a school year? No, I actually left it at home. It's not how even if I look well, so weird. weird. Why do you look weird? My eyebrows. It's like the rest of my face is white and like my eyebrows are like boom. They are, but don't worry, we gotta take care of that. Okay. Super trooper. I right. took out a hat. So then we're going to get an eyebrow brush, which we're gonna borrow hers as well. What did my eyebrows do? They went, oh. Yeah, it did. Hold on. Here we go. Watch. Watch. Uh, uh. And then I take a brush or a spoolie. Usually I get a spoolie, but I left all my spoolies at home. And I brush it through so it doesn't look as dark there. Have fun. She likes. To prove I'm wrong, that's why we bought her. To remind you that everybody does their thing a different way. She does her makeup. She doesn't anything about my face. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No, I am. <laughs> okay. I comb the eyebrow a different way so that powder dispersed. Right, those are yours. Does it sometimes get caught in my hairs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go on with the eyes. Now. Okay. Young Living has lots of choices. Okay. Um, I'm going to sit down. Yeah, browns and purples and a few greens. But brown is usually a pretty good staple. So what I would tell you is to look, if you're just finding your own, they give you four, which is pretty much a, um, if you buy the kit, you get a, pretty much a whole eye look. And so you don't have to worry about it. But if you are like already a Young Living member and you just want to pick up a couple of eyeshadows, I would find I would start with three. I would start with a, a light, like matte color, a warmer, like a darker, like crease color, and then a highlighter. Okay? That's what I would look for. I have all of them because I use all of them. But anyway, so we're going to start actually with the matte Best Kept Secret, and it will make a nice, easy palette. Now I do have, where are we, is this yours? Um, if you want to make it a little bit more, I, gotta find it. I, have, all of my, I have all my other brushes. Mm -hmm. um, I was saying something and then I totally got distracted. Oh. It happens. It happens. We'll just gonna, oh, primer. You can reapply the primer to your lid if you really want to. Um, I just. I go out and then I end it with a foil, look it in, and it helps it stay. You're resting your hand on my I'm sorry. We're going to work on that in a minute. 
Okay, so that just kind of, that best kept secret is just a nice matte tan that just makes a palette. That's the only thing I hate about it is you can never get them without them being exposed. Anyway, I'm talking under my breath and I apologize. Next, I'm going to take a round brush and I'm going to get, I'm done with that one. Where's Determined? That's my favorite. Dun, dun, dun. This is my crease color, okay? So it's going to be a darker, it's a little shim it is shimmery, but I love it. I use it all the time. Like, this is my everyday look. Every day. Every day. Alright. When you're doing, they can't see your face anymore. Like, get up. Stand up for it again. Alright. When you're doing your crease, you can feel your eyebrow bone right there. Just push the brush up against your That's bone. That's all weird. You Touch went your... eyebrow bone right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you just push it up against that bone, and that helps you create... If I had some powder up on here. Anyway, it helps you create that shape you want. Now I got super troopers in my head. Super mm -hmm. troopers, we're almost there. Blue. And I'll give you that I do take a little bit longer than most to do my face every morning. I take ten you minutes. You could probably be done by now. I know. And I'm also talking, so it is what it is. Then I get what, baby? You're so special. Love that. Girl. The middle of my eyebrows look right, red. I'm gonna get diffused. Which is a little bit purple, but it it um. A little. little I um, like that color. With though. a little tiny, and I'm gonna put that in her crease. Am I stick like directly in the crease and just make it a little bit darker? Darken up the crease, if you will. Now, granted, this is my daughter, and she's 15 years old, and so I'm not gonna go full glam on her. Although she can, and she normally does, but I sometimes do. But I don't use this makeup. I only use the eyebrow stuff. And I have the foundation brush and I use the foundation brush. But we're working on that. <laughs> Look at her ways her eyebrow. Mm -mm. Let's just say that she steals a lot. Okay? She steals a lot. I steal a lot of your old makeup. Alright, then I'm going to get my... I'm, I'm looking for it. My residual. Which is a nice... That's spoiled. Where is it? There it is. I like color, but so far I've only put three colors on, but, and I'm going to take it and put it, pop it right up underneath that lid. Where'd she go? Like that. Okay. Easy peasy. That's really easy. What about my lid? I'm going to get there. And so now I'm going to get one that's called Spoiled. Do, do, do. I'm looking for it. And it is a gold color that has a slight pink in it. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm going to foil it. Foil it. I what that means that is means. you wet the brush. Okay, you wet the brush or you wet the shadow. But I would not wet the shadow because it's all powder. So I would wet the brush. Don't worry, you're fine. All right, use the misting spray or I use Wiz water sometimes if that's the first thing I put my fingers on. Okay, and then you kind of mix it up so that it is a little wet. And then I'll put that right there in the negative space on her lid. Because you saw me go all the way around. Just put a little bit right there in the middle. And there we go. Alright. Can I just say I would love to have your daughter's lips. I know. They're Don't so they good? Fall. They are. They're so good. Alright, so now you got, we're moving on to eyeliner. But I don't ever wear eyeliner for sure. She eye. never ever ever wears eyeliner. Um, the I have a bunch, but I don't wear it. They have an eyeliner that is black. Jet, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they have the multitasker that is brown. I use the multitasker on a daily basis. If I have like a purple or a um a darker look, I might use the black, but normally I go for the brown. I use black. You keep because I talk with my hands. Anyway, but I you use, keep coming so close to my face, you're like, well, okay, there you go. Um, and so, care, I put black on carrot, that's what I'm trying to say. But today, we're going to use, where's my multiple tickles? Multiple tickles. 
We're going to use the dark mocha tester. Put your K. Alright, so get. You, put, you took it back. I need that brush one more time. Which one do you need? The eyeliner brush. Call me. Took off the black one. Thank you. Okay. Once again, I'm working in the lid because that's all you need. You don't need a whole lot. So you just take it and you pop it. I usually go start about two thirds of the way over and pull it. It's nice and light, but you can build it. If you wet it just like you did that foiling, then it will get darker. Okay. And then I go all the way across on the bottom. Because I do. If you have narrow eyes or little tiny eyes, it might be best to not put any on the bottom lid. I look to keep your eyes look open. I look weird. Good weird or bad weird? Good, but like I never wear highlighter. Okay, we've got. Which I'm trying to make it kind of light. Yep. Okay. And last but not least, it's the mascara. Alright, so we have the Savvy Minerals mascara. They just reformulated it and put it back out. I'll let her do that part. And it is pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I do something weird with mascara, so don't judge me. Mm -hmm. I scrape most of the mascara off yeah. the wand. It does take a second for it to dry, so I would put it on and let it sit for a second before you get it. But I just do this with all my mascara. It's not just this one. I just do it. I don't know. I'm super I put on one coat, and then I do my lips, and then I come back mm -hmm. and do the second coat. But yeah, I would let it wait. But I spend so much putting it on one eye that by the time I get to the second eye, it's dry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm stuffing. You can have that back. Thank you very much. Thanks. And her lashes. Okay, I need your daughter's lashes and her hair. She's got pretty lashes. She's got pretty She's a beautiful hair. face. I don't know what you're She's so pretty. Her whole freaking face. We love you. Just a little. Alright, so now we're going to go Make back. Make sure you hold your mouth right, JK. Did you hold it just right? Okay, we're going to go back and do the one little thing. The last thing that I always do is I highlight and I, t and I cover up. Okay, so I'm going to get my warm two out. We're going to do that first. I'm going to get that flat brush that I used for my eye, for my um, shadow. I'm going to clean all that shiny stuff off. And I just pick up a little bit of the powder and then anywhere that we I have a... Blemish. Oh, that hurts. I know. I poke it in. That, that one's the only painful one on my face. Gosh. The one on my end of my nose. It's just dead skin now, but it's still a little red. The one on the end of my nose. Mom. <laughs> she kept poking at the painful one. So I'm like, I'm going to the end of my nose. Like that. Alright, there we go. And then we're going to get our nice, big, huge brush again. And we're going to get the diamond dust veil. And we're going to put some highlight on my sweet potato. Actually, I'm going to use my blush brush. Actually, actually, actually. Because it's going to be all pretty. And I can, you, I know you can't see it, but there's enough sparkle in this lid for 10 people. So, I don't ever, I try not to pick up too much. Alright. Highlighter, kind of the center of your forehead, down your nose, above where you put your blush on your cheek. You're supposed to do your cupid's bow. You keep running into my mascara. It's purple. A little bit, yeah. Alright, your cupid's bow, and I'm going to put just a little bit on my chin. And then, now, we'll take the big old fluffy brush. Do, 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 do. And we'll kind of blend that in a little bit. Oh. Now she's all sparkly. My eyelashes are sticking together now. Because I messed with them. I'm sorry. I told you we had to wait a second, but I'm in a rush. Alright, so. That is the whole thing. Well, we got lip gloss. Your favorite's in here somewhere. I didn't know this. But you need to use this one. That's anchors away. They have lip glosses, lipsticks. They have tangerine infused. They have cinnamon. Mint. 
Then a minute, yeah, that's right. I was just trying and to say regular. that. And then regular. And then regular. Original. All right. But they are really, they not, taste like mint. Yeah. They're not sticky. They're really awesome. And they don't smell bad. Like, I'm not going to call any brands out. <laughs> but there's this one brand that every time I use one of their lipsticks, it gives me a headache. Yeah. They so, put perfume in their lipsticks. Yeah. So that's the whole thing. She's so pretty. We'll post the selfies in a minute. But anyway, so we'll go back to how we get it. So you want tag team to that, or do you want me to do the kit? She you has the brows laying out very nicely in her hand. No, that's okay. Yeah. All right, so when you get the Savvy Kit, because you can start with Young Living with the Savvy Kit and then build from there. The kit actually has your foundation. It has the misting spray for your foundation. It has the foundation brush. A lip gloss. Four eyeshadows. Three eyeshadows. Three. Three. I may I'm wrong. Oh, well, three eyeshadows, and then they have a bl instead of blush, three eyeshadows, and they come with lavender. Lavender. That's it. So everybody, that's the best way to start because you can get all that for 160, which is per in it. 160. Just that's like a 150 that. for savvy. I think it's 150. It might be 150. But anyway, that's the best way to get started because you're going to get a, almost a full face without having to buy it piecemeal, and then you can add on as you go. Because now you're a Young Living member and you get 24% off everything. So that's the way I would go. All right. Is it my turn now? It's your turn now. Okay. We're going to have to clean up. <laughs> we, we, we won't talk about how Desmond just cleaned the bathroom yesterday, but he does this to me all the time where I just clean the sink and then he decides to shave. So it, it, all, it all works out. We have balance. Balance. And yes, it is a stripey day. It is so I have been in the habit of uh, getting people to share these videos. Exposure, <laughs> right? So I'm trying to make these not fall. I need five people who are not already Young Living members and who have not already shared our previous videos on either Thieves or Ninja to share our savvy video. And I have five lip balms to share with you for sharing the video and the contents in the lip balm is very simple. It has coconut oil, beeswax, jojoba, jojoba seed oil, let's see what else does it have, sweet almond oil, wolfberry seed oil, which is basically ninja, and it has rose hip, and this one has lavender, because it's lavender, lip balm, there's also grapefruit, and there's cinnamon. So I have five lip balms for five people who are not Young Living members and have not already shared out my previous videos, and I will stick those in the mail to you as soon as you comment that you have shared and send me a message with your mailing address. Sound good? What else do we need to say? Anything? Nope. Thank you, our, our teen model, Chief Julie Kane, for being a part of our video today, and we hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.